visitation service and an anointing service for women. It's a day to celebrate women all over the world. So invite your women, your sisters, your wives, standing gap for them. If they are not around, come with their picture as a man. So men are welcome, just that the emphasis will be on women. Uh, you pardon our bias tomorrow as, as for that program. And the program has been titled Woman Thou Art Loose. One and a half hours, max two hours, 5.30 to 7. We should be done tomorrow, tomorrow evening. So it's going to be an evening program. All women are cordially invited. And the Lord bless you as you come and tell somebody to tell somebody that the Lord wants to anoint them and put them in their place of destiny. Restoring glories and thrones in Jesus' mighty name. This morning, the Lord has put this word in my heart as we begin the series of new beginnings for the month of March. Every Thursday, every of our prayer meeting on Thursday, this month of March has been titled New Beginnings. And these scriptures cannot but be emphasized on a day like this. Isaiah 43, please listen with rapt attention. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. Bring it down in little so that I will not rush. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Why? Behold, I, the Lord, will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Philippians 3, 12 to 13. Philippians 3, Epistle of Paul to the Christians in Philippi. Chapter 3, verses 12 to 13. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ. So there was a goal ahead of Paul the Apostle, verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. This is the language of those trusting God for new beginnings. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. When you hear Paul speak like this, you will think the things that are behind are just the sufferings, are just the persecutions. As illustrated in the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. But you will not know that there were successes, there were accolades, there were new dimensions in ministry that Paul the Apostle celebrated. And Catchies, Acts 19, were taken from his body, and the sick were healed. Shadow of Paul, healing the sick, viper, and no old of Paul, crisscrossed the whole of Asia Minor, present day Turkey. And, and, and the Middle East today, in those days, crisscrossed them to preach the gospel. Planted a church in the house of Caesar. Paul did a number of things. Even when he was to be beheaded, Bible history said after Paul was beheaded by Emperor Nero in the course of persecution of the church, the tongue of Paul was still speaking, preaching to that emperor. He was a mighty man of valor. But Paul said, this one thing I do, I forget those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. The last scripture, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, your enemy. I have a very strong word and a very strong anointing as a backup this morning as we pray those prayers. I see the swinging open of the gates of the new over lives, over landscape. Over destinies and over this ministry, and that which the Lord has been speaking in the closet is about to be heard in the in the rooftops, because the gate of the new Deuteronomy two verse two to three, Deuteronomy two verses two and three, and the Lord spake unto me saying, verse three, you have compassed this mountain long enough. Not for. Don't you see? Can't you see? It's more of an indictment, more than a revelation. It's more of an indictment, a correction, more than a counsel. God
God was speaking to them. This testimony you are sharing was the same testimony you shared five years ago. This, this faithfulness of God in your life, this mercy of God you celebrate, is the same mercy you celebrated when, when even when the Bible said the mercies of God are new. We want new mercy. Why we are grateful for what God has done, we know there is much more. Can you say to the Lord there is much more? This morning, my emphasis will be on the old of the past, part one. So, new beginnings, part one, subtitled, the old of the past. With the three scriptures read here, Isaiah 43, 18, now again, remember ye not the former things, which means the old things of life in our destiny have a very strong old on our lives. The old has a very stubborn old on today that it wants to repeat itself. There are three phases of time, the past, the today, or the present, and the future. One thing about the past is that the past is so stubborn that it wants to relieve itself in today. Have you seen ladies, pardon me, ladies who were abused as a teenager and they grew up with that mentality and with that pain and with that stigma. This lady is 43 now and 44 now, but she's still remembering the pain of the abuse, the pain of the rape, the pain of the molestation of over 30 something years ago. The Bible says, remember you not the former things, because the old has a very strong hold over people's lives, such that it wants to seek permission from today to relieve himself in today and in tomorrow. The old is a critical part of every man's life. Every one of us has old things. We have old clothes. You have old phones. If I ask you now, what happens to the very first phone, the very first iPhone or Samsung or Sajer, Sony Ericsson in those days, Nokia 3310 in those days, what happens to them? You would, you, would, you would find it hard to even remember whether you threw it away or you gave it out or it was stolen because there is something about the past, about the old, that every one of us, including the man standing before you, has in our lives. And our duty is to remember not. To remember not is not just to delete from our memory, it's to disallow it, to withdraw the power that the old has to relieve itself in today. The old must be set aside for the new to occur. The new, listen to me, there's a part of our life called the new, new anointing, new clothes, new influence. A man who had influence over maybe a local government as a politician can rise to a realm that he has influence over a state. Now in the state, when you have mentioned the first five most powerful, most influential men in that state, his name was come on the list. But years ago, by virtue of old influence, he was only influential in Alimosho, not in Lagos. And Alimosho is just a part, not the whole of Lagos. Are you getting what I'm saying? So there is, there is this part of our life called the new. God is expecting the new. Go to verse 19. Verse 19. After he has said, remember you know, the format is not consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. I will not allow the old to relieve itself because the old has a tricky way, has a, a, a funny way of representing itself again, repackaging itself again back into our lives and it becomes to be. The new is waiting for the for the old, for the arrest of the old in a life for it to come forth. The old has a very strong old, a very stubborn grip with which many have been reduced to the shadows of themselves. Many people that would have been high flyers today are just crawlers going by because they allow the stubborn grip of the old, a lady that will have been gloriously married, but because of the molestation she suffered at 17, remained single, cynical, bitter for life. What a pity. But the Bible says, Behold, God speaking, I will do a new thing. May the door of the new swing open. You will not be reduced to a shadow of yourself. However, the state of the old, listen to this. The stay of the old in your life is the disappearance of the new. 
until the old is gone, the new can never come. Jesus said in Matthew 5, it is impossible to put new wine in old wine skins, even in with little knowledge of fermentation in chemistry. You will know new wine has the capacity for fermentation. The sugar molecule 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, Glucose has the capacity to undergo fermentation and become ethanol to C2H5O8 and to become ethanoic acid. That's that's fermentation. The breakdown of organic compounds from lighter molecules to smaller molecules. That's the capacity of this organic solvent called 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 wine. So the Bible says, because of the capacity for fermentation and to expand, old wine skin has already seen expansion. Hello. Old wine bottles have gotten to the end of the cell. There is nothing new again. See, finish has happened to it. So I will not put new testimonies inside old mindsets. That's the meaning. Why do you think this 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 woman, this prostitute, Rahab, when God when God was going to bring her out, why do you think God had to destroy everything about the past of Rahab? Have you not talked about it? Rehab was going to be crafted into the ancestry of Jesus Christ. There are chances that someday somebody will come and say, Ah, Rehab, eh, you get in this nine age, we know your works now. We used to, uh, uh, uh. Many men used to stop by at your rooftop to, to pass the night. But the Bible said, God destroyed everything about the past of that woman. So that when she entered into the new land with people of Israel, nobody will trace her past. I profess her. The Lord will so damage the old in your life that you will have no traces that you once you once suffer in this city. That you once borrow to money in this city. Maybe banks are even harassing you now. Just, just, just get excited because the Lord is about to do new pain. Prophesy the emergence of the new. Disappearance of the old. Who have I been sent to this morning? Shout yes! Until the old is gone. The new can never come. Old testimonies are the reason for the disappearance of, of new testimonies in our lives. We keep celebrating, oh, God was faithful. I was delivered from that accident seven years ago. Man, you have been delivered seven years ago. What has happened after seven years? We are interested in today. Why is we are grateful that God is your deliverer? We can also be still grateful that he's your benefactor to be. He, he ought to have done something new if you have believed him enough. If you have not allowed the memories of last miracle to block you. Have you not wondered why it is often said that the enemy, the greatest enemy of best is good. The greatest enemy of better is good. Many are poor today because they were successful in the past. The old want to relieve itself in today. You are the one that will say, no, I shut the door. Can you see after we say in the name of Jesus? I shut the door to the old, whether good old or bad old. I shut the door and I arrest the old. And I say, thus far you have come and no further in my life. Therefore, I swing open the gates of the new. Hmm. Old testimonies are the reason for the disappearance of new testimonies in our lives. Old jobs are the reason why new jobs don't come. Old anointing forbids the incoming of new anointing into our life. Old success prevents new success from coming in. Old houses is the reason you can't enter that new house. Old is very tough. The old is very tough. Old and the reason you have not bought the new car. Old contract, taking God for the contract of two years ago. Yes, you are being grateful, but you are not thoughtful enough you know, because God is able to do even exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or imagine. And the Bible says in Proverbs 4, verse 18, that the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more, even unto the perfect day. The old is very tough. The attachment of the old is very stubborn, but it must be broken. How many are said to break the attachment of the old? When we say the old, the Lord bless you. When we say the old, I told you earlier, we are not just talking about the good things or the bad things. We are talking of even attitudes. Old attitudes. You look at your life, the validity, the lasting period 
of every destiny ever is always three months. Why? There is this attitude of sending useless messages to them. My children's school fees, we don't have rights at home as if you are your God. And when a destiny ever perceives that you are turning to God, he fears for himself and he runs away. That is why Mr. A ran away, Mr. B ran away, Sister C ran away, and your life is now devoid of valuable people because of the same old attitude. Say God forbid. Old attitude can debar people from entering into their promised land. Even old failures, failures of the past, it is true that you fail to ahead, you can still pass. You can see pass at, at another season. I know people that have to sit for one head or GC three times. And they pass at the end of the day. At the end of the day, they did not write on their head certificate after first, fourth sitting. Did, did, they, did they used to write that? No. Your certificate is as if you have never sat for one head two times or three times or seven times. It is true that you dropped out of that university. You can go back again. You can go to another university. You can go to another higher institution. It is true that you failed at a job. Another job is beckoning. Until we say farewell. That is the message this morning. Until we arrest the old, we cannot welcome the new. As a pastor, there are times you become excited when you see positive news. Glorious, glorious, glorious things being done in your ministry. But at that time, if care is not taken, you will come around that old. As far as the Lord is concerned, even though that testimony is so powerful, it has become old at the end of it. While it is called today, learn to dream again. Ah, for this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I prophesy the old, the grip, the clutch of the old of our lives is broken now. Let the new come. Let the door of the new swing open. Let it swing open. Let it speak up in the name of Jesus. What is the way out? Number one, determine in your mind you are done with the old. Your problem is comfortable with you as long as you are comfortable with it. That old, old realms, old anointings, you are used to seeing cobwebs. Even in the world's cobwebs, as if you are the only person that the devil is after. How dare you? How can you see cobwebs on the way? You are used to that realm. But there is, a, there is a greater realm. I said there is a greater realm. There is a new realm of oppression-free life. You are used to battles in your dreams. You always pray that 4 a.m. become, 5 a.m. become so that you can wake up and start a new day. You don't even want to sleep because you know the closing of your eyes is the signaling of battles. But I prophesy the new is coming. The new has come. Can you receive the new? Receive the new. Receive the new. You receive the new. As a salary earner, you are used to more months at the end of the money. 27th or 26th, you are paid salary. By the time you enter the 15th of the next month, salary is gone. Now you have more months. But there's a new realm where the Lord will create multiple streams. Ah, in the garden of in the garden of Eden, which was a type and shadow of better. Oh, he never gave them one stream. In Eden, there were four river heads. Four river heads. To show you that at least there must be four river sources servicing your life. God is your source, but at least four channels branching into your life. I prophesy. Anyone who has been who has been tied to one stream, I prophesy in this season of Elim, the place of 70 palm trees and 12 rivers, enter into 12 streams. Ah, you don't know what we have come to in a limb. This is our month a limb. The Bible says when they got to a limb, not master the thing. When they got to a limb, they met 70 palm trees. They didn't plant it though. They never planted those palm trees. They met them. Blessings that have been prepared, you're about to step into them. Ah, the person I'm talking about is still at the The person I'm talking about is at Yanoguru. Blessings, prepared blessings, prepared heaven, prepared breakthrough. Step into them now. The Bible said they met at Elim. I am an Akaponi Asafia. Seventy palm trees. They were not the one that planted them, but that is not home. Huh? A palm tree represents resourcefulness from the tip of the branch. The tip of the leaf down to its root, every part. You only need to live in the village for six months to understand. 
how the pantry is resourceful. The fruit is resourceful. The juice is the palm wine. The fruit is the palm kernel. From the fruit, you have palm kernel oil. Are you getting what I'm saying? From that inside palm kernel, we have the palm kernel nuts that can be eaten. We have the, 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 the broom coming from the leaves. The bark used as herbs for concoction. Every part of the pantry, no matter the Bible says the righteous shall flourish as the pantry. They shall grow. Sinners, sinners in Lebanon. I prophesy resourcefulness, resourcefulness beyond beyond your certificate. Let it come upon you. <laughs> Numbers 33 verse 7. That's the scripture. Numbers 33 verse 9. Give me that scripture. Numbers 33 verse 9. Numbers 33 verse 9. And they removed from Mara. Look at where you are living. Mara. What is Mara? Bitterness. Sad taste. You are living bitter experience. Bitter experience. Bitter experience. One of the bitter experiences bedeviling the modern day man is failure at the edge of breakthrough. You have done all to stand, only to collapse again at the edge of breakthrough. I prophesy that spirit of fall, that spirit of failure at the edge of success is giving way now. your husband. It has always been one trouble to another. Your husband will always complain about something. If it's not the soup, it is. it will be the taste of the of the food. If it's not that, it will be the way you lay the bed. It's, it's the way you wash the baby. It's the way you arrange things. Mara, in your marriage, it is over. to show to the next generation that that was a time I came 
to a name. This is what I got from a name. And this is a testimonial and a credential. This is a paraphernalia to show that truly God has blessed me. I prophesy you have something to show. In this month of March, you, you will show months to come. The result of a name. You will show April. What will you show May? Bless him. What will you show June? When I say what will you show, you know what to say. What will you show May? May is your birthday. What will you show May? And you have not wasted the last one year, the last days, the five days. That you are better. You are not just celebrating another, another cruel, useless birthday. But you, you, there is a reason to thank God truly because you are not where you used to be, even though you are not where you want to be. What will you show June? Look at these people now. What will you show June? What will you show Judah? Expansion. Expansion on all products. What will you show August? What will you show September? Hey, the Emperor Mons are knocking. They are knocking at the door. Say bye bye to 2024. What will you show to the end of 2024? Is it stories? Is it explanation? Is it uh, sorry? I thought I would be able to make it, but Otinubu did not allow me to make it. Every single government did not allow me. No! You will have something to show. For they that saw with tears shall reap with joy. They that saw my high top. They that saw with tears. Psalm 126, verse 1. Oh, when the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, we were again the dream. There was a mouth screaming laughter. And our tongue was singing. They said that they hid it among themselves. The Lord has done great things for us. Yes, God has done great things for us. We are all we are glad. They that saw in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth, bearing precious seed, and weeping shall doubtless come again, rejoicing, carrying his ships with him. I prophesy there will be something to show. Something to show. You will not show lies. You will not show lying wonders. You will not show explanation. There will be proof that God is faithful. There will be proof that you have encountered much more. The God of much more has visited you. The God of Elim has visited you. Somebody shout, Hey! Yeah! Old blessings stand against new blessings. The reason why some people are not successful today was because they succeeded yesterday. Old success barricading against new success. The reason why some have not entered to the, to the realms of hundreds of millions is because they entered the realm of huge million, one to nine million, and nobody will hear anything again. They, 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 they can't submit under a church again. They can't submit to God again. They can't be faithful to covenant practice again. And God said, thus far have you gone, remain there. The reason why you are successful yesterday is the reason why you will not be successful tomorrow. Because the enemy, the greatest enemy of best is nothing but good. But I pray for you. That good testimony that has, that has overstayed is welcome. I prophesy, you are climbing over it. <laughs> you are moving over it. Genesis 49, Babu was talking about the sons of Jacob and he talked about Joseph. Is it 49 verse 25? Oh. So Joseph is a fruitful bow. Mark captain protest again. Yes, go to verse 22. Thank you, Father. Genesis 49 verse 22. Joseph is a fruitful bow. Yes, even a fruitful bow by a well. Whose branches run over the wall? Your branches will not stay within the wall. That will be overflow. Ah, you have had a sense. You will feel my African pediatra. You will feel your shop this month with so much goods. That will be space. You will still have space to feel goods outside. And you will say, Pastor, I think I have to help me pray, help me confirm. Do I need to rent another shop? Or do I need to rent the one beside me? I am an Agapori of overflow! Oh, yeah, God, only one break forth to the right, break forth to the left. Those of you that are career people, promotion has come now. Overflow! In your appraiser, in your appraiser this year, overflow. Overflow with grace, overflow with good qualities. In your business, client base, your clientele base is overflowing. You have never had a client that will do business in tens of millions. Let them come now. Hundreds of millions, I call them now. Let's, let's 
your wife bust forth with new oil. Your fat busting forth with new wine. Ah, overflow. 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 Joseph is a fruitful bow. Your branches run over. Your influence run over the wall. Every wall of containment that society has created for you, you are running over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray now? Rise to your feet. Remember the message of today in this part one. Arresting the old of the past. Breaking the old of the past. Can you open your mouth in the next one minute? I want you to attack vehemently every spirit of the old. Everything that belongs to my past. That want to resurface in my today. I banish you. No. Thus far you have gone. For some of us before, you were not sleeping well. But now, insomnia is returning again. For some of us, your children were bedwetting. I God not heal them. Now they have started bedwetting again. For some of us, malaria was our, was our pain in the past. But now malaria is returning again. Infection is coming back again. You are going to stand and say, I shut the door. Open your mouth and begin to shut the door. Oh, all the old attitudes, old successes, old failures. Allah, all attacks of darkness, element of Puradis Sevras, Sevratis the Vinkatavis, and Sevratis the Vinatavina Shabbos. Allah, the Parak of the Sevratis Shabbos. Shall I be a task to be a task? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. There's no time, it's almost 11. There are eight prayer points here. I want you to pray them well. Pray them with all agility. Pray them with reckless abandon. Eight is the number of new beginning. As you step out of this place, you are stepping into new beginnings. Are you ready to pray? And as we pray, there will be a tsunami of the glory of the Lord. Marinating, marinating lives, destinies in this place. Are you ready for this? Say every attachment of the old to my life, to my destiny, to my businessman, to my business, to my career person, to my career, to my marriage, whatever area you are, you are talking about, to my children. In the word of the Lord, perish now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Shakapa, Lekoto, Zebras, Ebelekatos, Raparapakaparapaka Sophia, Lesuprekita Par, and the Kerr. Every attachment of the old to my life, to my destiny, to this ministry, to my international ministry, yet to boil my love, break, break, perish, perish now in the lives of my children and my wife, in the lives of every member of this church, every attachment of the old to my life and destiny, yet to boil my love, perish in Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. When we get to prayer point number four, I said so strongly, the Lord wants to reach out to people that are not even here. You have a sister, you have a brother. Some of you are even with their pictures. Let those pictures be on the altar as soon as we eat prayer point number four. Anything to represent your siblings or your family members, bring them to the altar as soon as we get to prayer. Not you, but I said so strongly, our prayer point to have a multiplying effect on people that are not even in this atmosphere. But there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Say, satanic covenant! Establishing the womb in my life. Pray that prayer. That, that is the reason for those nonsense dreams of returning back to secondary school, returning back to old primary school, returning back to the houses you live in Shasha 20 years ago. This is the reason. This is the reason. Satanic covenant! Establishing the old in my life. Your time is up. Be destroyed now by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and fight. Break those covenants. Break those covenants. Break those covenants. In the dreams. In the waters. In the hair, I am a boka kakato. Very a part is a villa tabin of Shokuma. A cookie of Mother Capori of a saint. Your time is up. Be destroyed by the blood. 
collective captivity, but our own seems to be stronger. I prophesy, the Lord shall visit you. Yes. The glory of the firstborn becomes visible yes. and becomes usable yes. for life from now. Yes. I bring redemption of that glory. Yes. In the name of God the Father, yes. the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. Be free now. Yes. And every one of you whose cases are not mentioned, I prophesy, the Lord meets you at the point of your age. Yes. Psalm 138, verse 8, the Lord will perfect that which concerns you. The Lord perfect that which concerns you. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Pick up your pictures and your phones again. As we go to the next realm. Be careful. Father, there will be many babies connected to this testimony. There will be many paths of new bonds. Never give up. The angel of fertility visited this house again today. The angel of new children visited this house today. The angel of new babies are coming. Thank you, Father. Take memory of the old and past failures. Tormenting my today be wiped out now. By the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, number five. Memories of the old and past. Tormenting, be deadly in my life today. Be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Now, now, now. In Jesus Christ, we are praying. Old memories, memories of past failures and past losses. It is true you lost a child, but let it go. Many children are coming. It is true you lost a job, but let it go. Many jobs are beckoning. It is true you meet on that million dollar opportunity, but let it go. Because many multi-million dollar opportunities are beckoning. Therefore, I prophesy, remember you know the former things, but consider the things of old. For after now, the Lord said he will do a new thing. Receive that new thing in Jesus' mighty name. Pray this next one, number six. Take past success. And explain how this can happen. So don't say, ah, why are we praying against good things? Some good things are the reason for why better things are not wrong. You pray for the sick, they are healed, yet the Lord wants you to undo cancer. You are rejoicing at the level of uh, small small things. Say, power success! Stop in your realms. In my life, in my ministry, in my career, in my family, in my business. I command you to die now. Lose your people. You are Christ now. I go over you. I climb over you. Oh, my branches run over the wall now. You can't hold me down. You can't hold me down. Belelelo kosa paradiso. Soviet Americans. Oh, Rapa Papa Savina Tavio. Oh, Kai Kapele Superis. Zipra de Belebi ala kolo kubushi. Shana. I command you to lose your grip over me. Lose your grip over this atmosphere of this ministry. Now, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You will not be a slave of the success of the past. Rather, the success of the past will be your launching path. There are new grounds to be conquered. Rise to a new ground. There are new mountains to be conquered. Like Caleb, rise to those new mountains. Rise to new zeniths. Rise to new peaks. In Jesus' mighty name. Take old atmospheres. Sponsoring old events. In my life. And destiny. Your time is up. Be wiped out now. 
In the name of Jesus, open your mouth on fire. Hold that to space. Hold that to space. In my life, in this ministry, in my in, in my marriage, in my family, sponsoring all the men. In my life, on my destiny. Allah baraka tos of Rakita so barakatos. Zebrakatila barakatos. Zebrakatila kaposhaba. Allah baraka tos of Yasaba. Hey, give me them, give me them. Give me those whole cattles here. And the enemy used to bring coldness, internites, cobwebs. Every intense old atmosphere, every intense atmosphere, sponsoring all events, failure events in my life and destiny. Your time is one being wiped out now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Is this the last prayer? Say the anointing of the new. The rest of all we are fresh. Are you ready now? Spirit of the living God. The anointing is what makes a difference. The anointing is the difference you say. You will just discover that new things are just speculating. New things are just opening up. How are they happening? Is the anointing. How shall this thing be? Mary ask Gabriel. The only ghost will come upon you. And the power of the highest shall rest upon you. Pastor, nobody has approached me in the last five years for marriage. After now, you will be surprised. It will seem as if you are 27, you are 25 years again. How shall it be? The anointing of the new, and I call it false. Say the anointing of the new. Rest upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for new jobs, for new pregnancies. To be pregnant, to full time, to deliver living children. The anointing of the new. To be, to be carefully married, to be profitably married again. To open new branches of my school. To open new quarters of this ministry. To barata, costa, barata, 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 for SFPS, the anointing of the new rest upon this church. Anointing for new days, rest upon us. Anointing for new quarters, for new territories, for new landscapes. Rest, rest, rest. Asha, Father of the Son. Don't stop, don't stop. To be fortunate is coming up. 